Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it to this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Please check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway. Sign up for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Sign up for whatever month knife giveaway is going on. That being said, speaking of knives, big shout out and a big thank you to Ned Foss and company. The Ned Foss company sent me this cookery knife to review. We've already did like a little unpackaging review of it. So today, we're going to take and we're going to do kind of how I normally review a knife, the kind of, you know, three brief torture tests that I do. And we're also going to go in a little bit more detail with it because this is a little bit better quality knife. And uh, we're going to see how it holds up. And uh, yeah, so let's see how it holds up. I've got my uh, safety glasses on. I've got my safety glove. We got a four by four right here. Turn y'all down just a little. I'm gonna take this four by four and we're gonna chop this knife into it. We're gonna give it three chops. It might not be far before off the table, but we'll deal with that after. I'm gonna move my nice Ned Foss case out of the way. Right out. All right. So, here's that knife. Let me show y'all that knife. You need to go to nedfoss.com and check out the knives. They got some nice, affordable knives for very cheap. Look at that logo on there. Look at that pretty thing. All right. So, I'm not really cut nothing with this except shaved hair on my arms. So, cookeries are known to be choppers. So, we're going to hit it with a chop point. So, I'm going to give it three good whacks. Now, I'm not going to go like way back here, and like a super whack, a super chop. I'm going to do just normal chops. What you would probably do in a, and maybe in a defense situation, or, or uh, maybe if you're chopping some uh, limbs or something like that. Here we go. Turn it back over. That was a good one. I'm going to give it a pretty good whack this time. All right. So, that being said, we'll take a look at the wood. And we've got a good quarter inch deep in that middle one. Probably about a quarter inch close to it in the other three. Uh, but that was definitely a good one right there. We caught it really good. And let's check our edge out, see how it did. Let's see how our, our edge is holding up. Well, it looks pretty good to me. I see a little scratching. Or maybe that's just a little bit of wood on there. I'm going to slightly clean that edge off. Uh... No rolling or anything. No chips out of the blade. So it held up pretty good. And this is 813 still, by the way. So that's some pretty good stuff. All right. For those of you that have never seen me do a knife review, what I do is I hold the handle of that plastic drum right there like it's the hair of the head. Then I'll put three good cuts. One this way, one this way, and one this way. Again, not ones like I'm trying to drive to the backbone, but just basic good solid tr uh, cuts like you'd use in a self-defense situation or something like that so let me get a good grip on this thing this is about too thick of a glove for this thing all right so we do three cuts and then we do three thrust again i'm not looking for the backbone just a basic thrust so we'll do three cuts first check out the results then we'll do the three thrust thrust means stabbing motion in layman's terms all right here we go. Uh, I have, I'm going to go a little bit lower because I tested a knife out on this side, so I'm going to go a little bit lower. Here we go. Well, I even cut into the table a little bit. 
and we got that one that went down we got very deep on that so let's take a look at that that surprised me on that one i didn't expect it to go that deep that's almost a quarter inch deep into that drum right there here was this this slash and this slash was better and then this one right here just absolutely absolutely devastating in my opinion that would hurt some flesh that would open up that would open up some nasty epidermis tissue we'd be seeing muscle if that was in a living creature all right now that being said uh i don't see any damage to this nice knife looks good still and i'm trying to show uh, show it off as much because it is a very pretty knife all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the three first i'm actually gonna hold it right here grab it like that be better i'm gonna do it about right here in this good clean part here we go oh yeah then we'll stick it in there and let's see if we can slide it over very gently Let's see how that one went, how deep that one went. Oh yeah, we went about that far on the tip in there. So a good inch in this big drum. The first thrust I hit right here, the second one right here, and that good deep one was right there. All right, tip looks good. So yeah, so it's holding up. Pretty good so far. It's passing the test. <sighs> Gotta see how good that tip is. There's one. I'm gonna do three. I hate doing it. And more falling off the table and hitting concrete and stuff like that. That's that's more durability for it. Here we go. The third one. And so, sorry, my shirt rolled up a little bit. <laughs> See a little jelly roll there. Yeah. The tip held up well. All right. So, there is a big pea gravel and concrete block right under here. So, I'm going to drop it and let the tip hit. And we'll see if it holds up. Ooh, that was rough on it. That was rough on it. Chipped a piece of that concrete. Folks, just a little scratching, basically. Maybe just a tad bit of rolling, not much at all on that tip. That'll come right out a few licks with a sharpened snow. So, very, very good. Very, very good steel. All right, let's see. I'm going to come over a little bit, and I'm going to drop it in the ground, too. all right so you can see how deep it was going into that uh that good old georgetown tennessee red clay tennessee red clay right there so pretty daggum impressive folks all right okay folks i'm gonna be really careful and i'm gonna see how good i can hit this water hose or i mean i'm gonna see how good it'll cut this water hose right here Yep, we're going now. The water hose is kind of thick. Alright. Alright, there's one end that we cut right here. 
here's the other end. Cut that water hose pretty easy. Okay. Let's see if she's still sharp. She still feels pretty sharp. And she'll still shave. And that's with the, this part is a little bit not as sharp as this part. But it's still shaved pretty good. Alright, so she's still good and sharp. So I've got three diet soda two liters filled with water. And I'm going to try a cross chop that way. So you can get a good view of it. This should be pretty fun right here. All right, here we go. Cross chop this way. Again, I'm not going to go for a way out there, but I'm going to go for a good solid chop. Here we go. It cut the bottle. We got some water flying. See what kind of damage we did. Yep. That bottle's definitely cut. It's definitely going to leak all that water out of it. Now, that being said, I'm usually not as strong on that kind of a chop. But on this chop right here, I'm usually a lot stronger. I'm going to make sure I get it with the good chopping part of this too. I didn't catch as far into it as I wanted to, but I think the results are quite obvious. I probably caught it about right there. I wanted to catch it a little bit more right there. But, like I say, folks, bye bye, two liter. And let me show you how strong these two liters are. They're pretty strong, aren't they? So, that lets you know they're pretty solid. Now, I've not attempted this before. And I am going to attempt it this time. I'm going to do a good hard thrust. And I'm going to really put my weight into it. And I'm going to hope I hit it. And hope I go through it. On the first one. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> I believe it went all the way up in there, folks. <laughs> There's where she's bleeding out. It went all the way plumb through it, folks. We got water going down on both sides there. Look at that. <laughs> What do you know? All right. Well, Maniacs viewers, there you have it. That's the uh, Ned Foss initial knife review. I'm going to be doing some uh, bush crafting skills, uh, maybe with it a little bit, not much, because I don't know much, but definitely like doing some uh, clearing some weeds, clearing some tree limbs and stuff like that with it, uh, and different things. And uh, this thing is, this thing is just nice, folks. It really is. And I got to thank Ned Foss for sending me this. Go over to nedfoss.com and check it out. The links will be in the description. The links will be in the comments. The links will be in every social media thing that I post this knife. I want people to check these people out because they sent me this nice knife. And it's only about in the 50 50 60 dollar range folks this is a lot of knife for that and if it held up against all that, that i just did and done well and it's still sharp and everything and that point man that point went through that two liter bottle like butter even though i've dropped it on the wood i've dropped it in the ground i've dropped it on concrete awesome so go over to dad files check that out thank you dad files for sending me that knife and uh, if y'all go over and you buy one of these, let me know. I'd like to know. Because that would, that would very make me happy. If you can afford a $50 knife, this is a good one for you. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Again, big shout out and thank you to Ned Foss. 
uh, their website link will be in the description and it'll be in the comments. It'll be on every social media I post this to. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless you. Ned Foss, say the real deal. Thank you. Catch you next time. Love you. God bless you.